If you have some cauliflower, make this easy and delicious dish. Click the like button already and comment if you liked this recipe. Start by cutting one head of cauliflower. Remove the whole stalk and cut off the florets. Next, transfer all the florets to a large bowl. Add enough water to cover them up and let them soak for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, in a large skillet over medium-low heat, add one drizzle of olive oil, a 240 milliliter cup of white rice, one tablespoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of salt, and stir-fry for two minutes. Then add two cups of water, and let the rice cook until fully dry. This is the right cooking point. Turn off the heat and set aside until cool. Meanwhile, in a medium bowl, add three full eggs, one cup of table cream, one teaspoon of mustard, one half teaspoon of salt, one generous pinch of black pepper, 50 grams of grated mozzarella cheese, and mix all the ingredients until combined. Leave us a comment with the name of the city from which you're watching this. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. This is the right blend. Once you've done that, in the skillet with the rice already cooled, put two full eggs and mix until combined. Have you downloaded that recipe app on your phone yet? It's already available for download. I'll leave the app link for download here in the comment section. Go ahead and download it right now. After that, in a medium oven proof dish, add one drizzle of vegetable oil and spread it out evenly. Now add all the rice. If you've made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. The cauliflower florets, the creamy sauce we prepared, take to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 35 minutes. But keep an eye out, baking time may vary depending on the power of your oven. That recipe is ready. You may now serve and enjoy it. I really hope you liked this recipe. Now I'll head back to the comments section and we'll continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.